Hello everyone, Mimi here from Mimi's Crafty Shop. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and checking out my Christmas journal that I have completed. This has been a work in progress. Uh, this is my second journal, Christmas journal that I have been working on for quite some time. Uh, I started this last year and I was real busy making others for my store and stuff and for customers that I never really got around to doing it. So this year I said, I am going to make me my journals. So that's what I did. And I'm real proud of the way it turned out. It is a nine by six. Um, it's got this beautiful um, table uh, placemat that I have taken and um, gone around, sewed around it, kind of like quilting. And it's just gorgeous. I got this at, um, Tuesday morning and I tea dyed it. And I just love the birds and just the poinsettias and, you know, the berries and stuff on it. I had, it was such a chunky monkey, I had to put elastic around it. I couldn't even put a ribbon uh, like I normally do in the front because it just ended up being huge. And I made this beautiful tassel. Um, I was inspired by um, Alesha from um, Homemade Crafts for You. I think that's the name of her shop. I have to look that up again. I always, um, I think it's homemade crafts for you. Well, anyway, she makes these tassels and I bought some from her. So I kind of uh, got the idea from her. And anyway, I want to get started on this. I've got beautiful laces. I pulled uh, the reds and the blacks and the greens and just kind of pulled from this. So um, just all the colors, the lushy colors. Uh, it's got quite a few different uh, digitals in here, um, kits that, I have added to it. Um, I want to go ahead and tell you what they are. It's Nectar's Creation. I've got some of hers, Dream, etc. A lot of ephemera from her that she had this year, Calico Collage. TLC Creates, Art Amaze, the watercolor, which I thought was absolutely gorgeous. So, um, like I said, let me get started. This book ended up being so big, I couldn't get over it. Let's see if I can bring this down a little bit. There we go. This is a beautiful card I made up. Um, it's kind of like an envelope. I took an embossed on it and uh, just kind of went over it with some different inks. Here's one of my tea bag little ephemeras I made. This beautiful postcard that I recently got. Just love it. It's such a beautiful postcard. And um, I just kind of decorated the back of it up like it was, a, uh, I got a card from somebody, put a really, that's a real postage stamp on there, and did some stamping and stuff. I thought it was just turned out really cute. Love this collage here. I took some of the placemat and just kind of added, um, sewed it on the, there on the side. It's just chock full of all kinds of goodies. I have several uh, scrapbook kits that I had bought in the last couple of years that I added to it. And this is just some stuff that I made a little collage up. And this is the Artemis kit here. And I did some uh, stenciling on there. I think this is TLC Creates. There's Artemis again. And I put some envelopes in here. Christmas envelopes. And here's, um, this is Dream Etc's kit. And still, that's Nectar's Creation there. Very beautiful. Put some music uh, way in the manger from a hymnal that I have. And this is actually some pictures. That's This is why I made this, because I wanted to put some pictures in here of my grandkids and me uh, at Christmas uh, throughout the years. And so um, I'm going to add a few more to it. I just found those, and I, so I stuck it in there. These are some really pretty cards that I got from Tuesday morning last year. Did a lot of collaging. This is a tea bag that I had did some um, collage podge on and had did a, a tutorial on that. It's just gorgeous. I mean, I have to say, say so myself. I'm really proud of the way this turned out and I will be able to put this out uh, for my Christmas every year. So I'm excited about that. These cards, um, are just gorgeous and I love doing up these like putting different ephemera together and sewing it together. This is a beautiful um, 
lace that I got from Alesha. She just recently sent me some goodies and I had bought some journals from her and um, she uh, gifted me this and I was just kind of, I wanted to use it. I thought it was really neat. Somebody took, I don't know if she did it or if she got this from somebody, but they took two pieces of lace and cut some in the middle and sewed it together. And I just loved it. And so I made a corner pocket out of it. Let's see here. Just more gorgeous ephemera here. Some of this I may end up taking out as I add pictures in here. And I sewed on these little tabs here. That's just a little circle thing I made up and put some eyelash trim on there. This is Stamparia. I got that um, probably last year too. Love, love, love it. I knew exactly what I was going to do with it when I bought it last year. And um, knew I was going to put it with this kit, this um, beautiful um, placemat because of the bird theme. And it, it was really a, kind of a, you know, kind of had the nature theme about it. So that's kind of what I pulled from too. I love using envelopes and just kind of sticking them in here and using them as pockets. It's just another way. And this is Dreams Etc. Her ephemera this year was gorgeous. I love this picture of this barn and it's kind of a snowy scene. Printed that out. I made this up. It's like a little um, notebook. Just put some different pages in here that I could, you know, take and write something on if I wanted to. This is actually from uh, those uh, real, for real books. I think that's what they call them. I never can't remember the name of those. What are they called? Ideal books. And they had, I had gotten some of those um, as a, some freebies at a bookstore. So I decided to add some of that Christmas that I pulled out of it. So I thought it was really pretty. Oh, and I love this big old tag I made. I had recently went to Tuesday morning and gotten this these napkins, and they had the birds on them. I got them half price, and I did a bunch of stenciling, but um, cut this out using in the Tim Holtz uh, stencil. So I thought it really was pretty. And just some more gorgeous stuff. Most of my stuff is tea dyed. I love that little bird on there, and I have these really pretty cards in here that mean a lot to me because I've been collecting them. And here is more of that postcard that I just recently bought when me and my mom were out shopping. We had a blast out shopping. We bought more Christmas stuff like we really needed it, no, but we had so much fun. And I spent time with her and we made some stuff. So I always enjoy, um, I forgot to put anything on that one. Oh well, that's okay. Um, I always enjoy uh, going to my mom's and we, we have such a, a great time. We always usually try to make something. We Sometimes we go shopping too much and we don't have time, but we usually try to do some crafting because she has a endless supply of supplies and she's very generous to always share with me. This Stamperia paper is just so gorgeous and I love the way this tea dyed up. And I love the Stamperia because it's double-sided and uh, this is another um, placemat that I had used last year, and I got that at um, Dollar General. Isn't that gorgeous? It's got the little collage with the birds on there, and I made this collage up. This is Tim Holtz tissue paper, and I just used a bunch of stuff I had, and these are actually tags that I bought last year. Put this really pretty um, black lace on there. I love the maroon and black together. I bought this at a, at a craft store, I thought that was so pretty. And I like that little bird. That's um, Artemis. She did an excellent job on that watercolor uh, kit. And I also will be showing, or I've already shown, um, I forgot to put this in there. I'm gonna cut this out. It's supposed to go in this oval shape here, but I need to find a smaller oval thing to cut it out with. I didn't really, couldn't find any, but these are my gorgeous grandkids. They they are so pretty. I can't wait to get the pictures that I took the other day. Isn't that beautiful? That's from those, that Ideal Books. There's another uh, envelope. And this right here, I want to show you this. Um, I, had, I did want to cut this up. And I hope I didn't glue it down, but I think I can get it open. This is actually Definitions and 
it tells you about the Christmas Santa Claus um, Christmas tree and the definitions. And I, it was like a 12 by 12. And I got this from Sue. And uh, she sent this to me last year when I bought some, I think it was last year or the year before I bought some stuff from her. And I really like that because of the definition. So I try to find a way to use it. And so I, I come up with this little window type deal to put in the middle. And I did on all my um, signatures, I put these really pretty um, charms on there, the Christmas charms. And um, I really like the way those are too. But it's just, I mean, I overdid it. I went overboard like I always do. I love that. And, um, but, you know, I had a great time making this. And I will cherish this forever. So, um, hopefully one day when my grandkids get older, one of them are going to get it, you know, and they'll enjoy it too. So, I love making stuff like this. I've got this beautiful, it's kind of like an eyelash trim. I got this at, um... Joann's when uh, when they had Halloween and they had it really cheap and so I picked that up and thought well I could use that and this beautiful trim here I got too I really like it and I love that little girl right there and I guess she's stuck in there maybe she'll come out yeah there she goes my mom gave me these snowflakes aren't they beautiful she she recently she picks up stuff all the time throughout the year and when she gets a really good price She's always buying me stuff, and I really appreciate that she does that for me. But I had a great Christmas. Um, I love that collage there, and this is so pretty. This is actually comes from our church, which I go to a church called Renew Church. It's a, a new church, but with people that I've been um, going with, the pastor and stuff, for about 15 years. But uh, I just love the colors of it. I thought it was so pretty, so I decided to put it in my journal. And this is a, a beautiful uh, CD holder I did up. I put that um, napkin on there and just put one of those ephemera on there from uh, Dreams, etc. And just had some little stickers that I had gotten from, I think, Hobby Lobby when they had them on half price. And this is a little pocket here about have nothing in that one, believe it or not. And this is another one of these beautiful cards that a good, wonderful person that we know gave to me. She always gives me beautiful cards. So most of the cards in here are from her. And this is a envelope that I printed out with um, Dream Etc. I used um, vellum and printed this out and just stuck this in here. And I like that using that vellum because it shows through so isn't that pretty? I mean, she just did an outstanding job on her stuff. And my mom recently gave me some of these. These are some cards that she had gotten. And let's see, did I do anything on the inside? Yeah, I stuck some stuff in there. Isn't that pretty? But I, I'm i just so happy with myself for doing this. This came from Tsunami Rose. Um, I've got some of her Christmas stuff too. And this idea, which this is a, um, another beautiful hymnal, this idea I got from uh, Jennifer, which is a trace of sparkle. She put this on an envelope, and so I always want to do a shaker thing and use my, uh, oh, what do you call these things, um, sequence. And so when she came up with that idea, she she made something the other day and, and had that. I was like, I'm going to use, I'm going to do that with mine. So, and then I bought some candle wax and made some uh, little uh, things that you put on envelopes. So, and here's another little book I made up. I love making those little books up. I think they're fun to make up. Love this paper. I did embossing on that. And just put some... Uh, oh, what kind of paper is that? Y'all know what it is. There's my church stuff. Love this. It's gorgeous. I just love those uh, that um, those ladies she used. They were so pretty. More hymnals. Another little um, belly band pocket there. And some stuff I just stuck in here. I mean, I guess I didn't... I was going to do something with it, but I didn't end up doing anything. So, anyway, um, it's okay. You know, I'll I'll keep working on it. So, here's one more picture here that we recently took. This is this year. 
my daughter took these pictures and my, my mom gave me these cards and I really liked them because they were like, uh, you can stick pictures down in them. So every year I'm gonna add pictures of, uh, you know, my grandkids, so like I said, and just keep adding to it. So thank y'all so much for stopping by and remember to, um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and um, check back with me. I'm always trying to get new videos up. Um, I do have an Etsy store called Mimi's Crafty Shop and hopefully this next year I'm gonna be really working on doing some big journals again and different kind of journals. So um, anyway, um, y'all have a blessed new year and I will be talking to you soon.